love it. So welcome back to the Lee and Haley Show. It's time for another round of commentators, the segment where we get to hear from you, the viewer, and send one of you home with an official Lee and Haley Show coffee mug for your trouble. Okay, so today our question on Facebook was, and on social media, uh, Instagram as well, what was your... Uh, did you spill coffee on yourself? No. Oh, good, okay. You always do, so you yeah. leave me afraid. <laughs> um, we, of course, are asking, what's your New Year's resolution this year? Most resolutions are abandoned almost immediately by most right. people, but it's only been a couple of days, so we're confident that maybe you're still sticking with yours. Mm -hmm. uh, feel free to write us on social media, though, and keep us up to date on how yours is going. But let's take a look at some of our responses, and we'll pick do you, up Wait a favorites. minute. Do you have one that you'd like to share? Um, mine is just kind of, I really got out of my fitness regimen over the holidays. Like I hadn't worked out in months and I worked out yesterday for the first time probably since November and it felt great. And so my thing that I'm currently working on is just getting back into that routine. Mm. So will I do it today? Yes, I will. Yes, I was gonna say we'll see, but no, I will do it today. What about you? To start smoking. To Every year I try to start. Right. And I just cough and hack and then I hate it. Yeah. And the girls don't think I'm as cool as they, I want them to. Okay, so let's take a look at some of your responses. Let's start with uh, Mark Cross. He sent us our first response. He says he'd like to travel somewhere with no map. That's the only way I travel. Really? I don't need a map. I can't imagine traveling somewhere without GPS or a map or anything. No, if like I've that got, terrifies me. I can't stand to not know exactly where I am at oh, any given moment. Oh, I love it. If I got time, I like to drive around and just see what I can find. You love the Pacific Northwest. What does that mean? It's a land of lots of trees, open space, and serial killers. Okay, um, Tony Stamos wished us a happy new year and added, she'd like to learn to let people go that don't see her worth. That will let my spirit be at peace. Tony, yes, honey, I always say, mainly because my therapist told me this, toxic people are toxic people, and you don't need them, okay? Yep, she Doesn't matter how still you know. works with me every day. And I'm really trying to get out of that situation, okay? I'm working out so that I can just... No, it's true. Good for you. You don't need anybody that's bringing you down. But you got to right. work on yourself, too. Our buddy Chris Karam wants to smart himself up with books. He, nah, he's just kidding. He says his is the same as always. Eat 100 pizza rolls in under 12 minutes. That's a good goal, buddy. Tape that. that video that. I want to so see it. Good. Pizza rolls are though. good. Pizza rolls are very good, but you got to get them at the right temperature. Sometimes they're too hot, and it's... It's the whole Hot Pocket scenario, yeah, but in smaller form. It's hot and magma. Oh, yeah. When my mom would buy pizza rolls when we were kids, between those and bagel bites, oh, my gosh. There's some Italian restaurants you'll find out there that will do, a, like, a pizza roll or a breadstick roll or whatever it is. With pizza, like, in it? Or, like, the toppings, like the cheese and yeah, sauce? Yeah, it's just it's whatever's running. inside, and it's just, like, mm. a uh, Yvonne Shearer also writing in. She said, watch more Lee and Haley. It's the only time we laugh uncontrollably, and laughing is so good for you. Thank you so, so much for saying this. And yes, we'd love for you to watch more Lee and Haley. Thank you for too. sucking up, Yvonne. See, that's what I need. I need more people sucking up. Oh, you do? You want more? Okay, that's your resolution is to get more people to suck up to you? Yvonne, you're the number one so far. Okay. Uh, Tammy Sanders, Trude Routson from Van Buren, Ohio, which is south of Toledo, says her resolution is to get Lee and Haley on her local channel. <gasps> We're working on it. Contact your favorite station that you watch and say, have you heard of these two morons? Yeah. I'd like for you to see them. They've got a deal for you. They've got a deal for you. South of Toledo. No, you know what? I know Van of a Buren, station. Ohio? I know a guy in Toledo, and I'll make sure he's, he sees this letter. I'll make him suck up to me if it's the last thing I do. No, you know we I know, I know. You don't have to whisper. Is. I know. We don't need to talk about it right now. Why not? Because well, why I call him out? Because he... He's not watching. He's he got a built-in audience right there. In Toledo. Tammy, we're with you. Uh, Shelly Wilson Green says she doesn't do resolutions because it makes her feel worse when she breaks them. She mm. just wants to feel better and work on eating and exercising. That's actually healthy. That is actually a very healthy mindset. I think that's what most trainers, therapists, mm -hmm. they tell you that. Well, and a lot of times, too, if you fall off the horse a little bit, is to right, get right back on it. Let's say one day you don't work out or one day you eat too many pieces of pizza to stick with whatever your health goal is. I know that I can do that myself. If I mess up even a little bit, I'm like, what does it all matter? I'm gonna eat like 50 cookies and I'm just gonna throw my treadmill away. Right, I'm just gonna drink all this alcohol. Yeah, but don't, <laughs> please don't. <laughs> Mark Sampson says he also has no need for resolutions 
haven't achieved near perfection in his advanced years. Good for you, buddy. Good, Mark. Send a pic. <laughs> Marla Roberts Steele, a frequent commenter. Hi, Marla. We love you, girl. She says she wants to do so much yoga that it actually justifies wearing yoga pants 24 7. Yes. Oh, yeah. Sometimes I find that if I just put on workout clothes, it really does help me actually work out later. Sometimes not. You're just wearing a workout outfit all day, but then you're comfortable. What do you think of men who wear yoga pants? I think it's fine. I don't see it that often, but when I do, I'm like, you do you, baby. Really? That's a good look. I'm not talking about the, because now men have sweatpants that are a little more comfortable than not the typical old football coach sweatpants. Yeah. Now they're the form fitting, like they're tight. They're like tight at the, tight ankle, at the like ankles, like a jogger type. And then they kind of blow out and bigger. Yeah. Like Lulu, uh, Lulu Lemon sells it, you know, sells those. You're a frequent shopper there, I can tell, by the way. Anyway, but I didn't know if you would see a guy wearing yoga pants, what you thought of that. But, uh, good Lord. And our last one comes from Rob Calvert. He didn't have any New Year resolutions for 2022, but says that his 2020 New Year's resolution was to quit smoking after smoking 30 years. He's now two years and four days smoke-free. Well, don't hang out with me, Rob, because I'm trying to get started. Rob, that's awesome. After 30 years. People that have never tried to quit smoking, they always say, like, Ex-smokers say, like, it is one of the absolute hardest things to do. How about... So, good for you, buddy. How about this? How about we give... Because somebody's got to win this. Let's give it to Rob. So he can have a mug, so he can drink his coffee out of. Or if things go south, he's got an ashtray. No, Rob, no. Do not break the streak. Don't listen to him. Okay? Congratulations and thanks to everybody. And good luck on those resolutions. Rob will send you a Lee and Haley mug in the mail. Thanks, everybody. And stick with those resolutions. All right.